Good morning, Hick. It's Tuesday. I don't really know how to talk about this, so I guess I'll just start with context. In 2019, our community began supporting Partners in Health and the Sierra Leonean government in their efforts to radically reduce maternal mortality. At the time, about 1 in 17 women in Sierra Leone could expect to die in pregnancy or childbirth. So our family pledged $6.5 million, which eventually became 8 but we knew that wasn't nearly enough. Because for PIH and the Ministry of Health, radically reducing maternal mortality meant everything from hiring lots of community health workers to building a world-class maternal and infant care center at Koidu Government Hospital. And that's expensive. I mean, we're talking about building a teaching hospital that can provide care while also training a new generation of Sierra Leonean healthcare workers. So obviously we needed a lot of money, like PIH needed to raise over $25 million before they could even break ground. The total cost of building and running the hospital for a few years is around $50 million. So we turned to Nerdfighteria, and thousands of people have become monthly donors to this project at PIH.org slash Hank and John, donating between $5 and $50 a month. They've raised together several million dollars over the last five years, all of which has been matched by generous folks within Nerdfighteria who built a matching fund. But we still needed much more money, so Hank had an idea. What if our project could be partly funded by, say, an Awesome Socks Club. Now, I'll be honest, I thought this was ludicrous, but never bet against Hank Green, the Awesome Socks Club became an explosive hit, and alongside its siblings that sell high-quality coffee and soap, they've raised over $8 million for this project. With all that together, we've helped raise over $40 million for this project, and while the hospital won't fully open until next year, maternal mortality in Sierra Leone is already on the decline. In fact, since 2019, it has fallen by more than 50% percent, meaning thousands of lives saved. But now we get to the complicated and delicate part, because this is only happening because we've had this really long-term, open-ended focus. We believe that long-term problems like the systemic impoverishment of Sierra Leone's healthcare system demand long-term solutions, like ongoing funding for Sierra Leone's healthcare system. And really, the opening of the hospital next year will not be an ending, it'll be a beginning, and there will be ongoing funding needs, not for weeks or months, but for years or, or even decades. We know from history that's how healthcare systems get stronger, is with long-term investment, not with, like, short-term crisis response. And this is something I worry about a lot, Hank, because we're gonna need to fundraise for a long time, and when a project isn't new and shiny, that can be difficult. The Awesome Socks Club is obviously one way to do that, because people aren't thinking primarily about maternal mortality, they're thinking primarily about getting a great pair of socks. But I just think there are so many examples of failing to keep up with a commitment or follow through with a commitment in global health and equity spaces, and I, I want to be conscious of that. That said, I also don't want to limit our ambitions, and a while back, PIH came to us and basically said, we are embarking on a new strategy to prove to the world that comprehensive tuberculosis care, finding, treating, and preventing tuberculosis, can not only dramatically drive down rates of the disease, it can also strengthen healthcare systems. And they asked us to help. Now, as you may know, tuberculosis is the world's deadliest infectious disease. It kills over 100,000 people every month, even though it's curable. And PIH has a very long history of expanding access to TB care, and now they are going to prove that just as we don't need to live in a world where in some communities 1 in 17 women die in pregnancy or childbirth, we don't need to live in a world with TB. They're going to start in Lesotho, a country where PIH has been working for almost 20 years and which has the highest incidence of TB in the world. And Hank, herein lies the dilemma. Can we support two very long-term projects? Like, that's not a rhetorical question. I, I don't know. But as a start, we're keeping the socks and soap parts of Good Store oriented around maternal mortality, but we're relaunching coffee and now tea as a new brand called Keats & Co. And that will benefit tuberculosis. It will be against tuberculosis, to be, to be clear. It won't be in the tuberculosis benefiting business, but in the tuberculosis destroying business. Now, Keats & Co. will not fully debut until later this year, but we're launching to Nerdfighteria now with some amazing teas. We've got green tea, mint tea, 
chai, we've got Earl Grey, we've got all kinds of tea. We're like those YouTube gossip channels, we've got all the tea. We've also got lots of other stuff like this strainer, if like me you're a bagged tea degenerate. And like our coffee, it's carefully sourced and really excellent tea. Like Hank, do you know what percentage of people who sign up for our coffee stay signed up for our coffee? It's in the high 90s. Anyway, there's a link in the doobly-doo, also there's an offer code to get 50% off your first subscription order. So yeah, we're at least going to do this, it's tea for tea. TB. Like, when the great poet John Keats died of tuberculosis in 1821, there was nothing that we could do to stop that. We simply didn't have the tools. But in the 200 years since he died, around a billion people have died of tuberculosis, and now we do have the tools, which makes it all the more infuriating that the world's deadliest infectious disease is still killing over a million people a year, even though it's curable. So I don't want to undermine or distract from our ongoing, long-term work to fight maternal and infant mortality in Sierra Leone, but when PIH comes to you and says, this is important and we believe it's the next big thing in global health equity, you say yes. We all face versions of this, right? There are many crises and none of us can address all of them. Also, I don't want this community only to be in the crisis addressing business. We're also a bunch of silly nerds doing silly stuff like g going to racks. But it's also true that I've seen the power of this community when it comes to reducing infant and maternal mortality in Sierra Leone, when it comes to driving down the price of drugs and tests for tuberculosis. Never underestimate Nerdfighteria. So I'm hoping that over time we can do both of these things well. But I'll be honest, I don't know that we can. I am aware that resources are limited. Not just money, but also the resource of attention. But I think Partners in Health is right that someone needs to prove to the world that comprehensive tuberculosis care can work even in impoverished communities, even where TB is rampant. So yeah, resources are limited, but as my late friend Paul Farmer often reminded me, resources are less limited than they have ever been before. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.